Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone 3 Kappa Mode. And uh, uh, just before we get started, I would like to all like you. I uh, would like to uh, ask you all to uh, like, subscribe, and make sure to leave comments on what I'm doing right, wrong, any advice you have. It's all much appreciated. It's a weird thing it does to my arm when I use this cape thing. Um, uh, other than that, make sure to check out Twitter for updates on when videos and live streams happen, meaning when videos go live. Um, and of course, check out Twitch, where we live stream every Saturday, Sunday, 1 to 4 Eastern Standard Time. And other than that, you can join the Discord if you just want to chill and chat with me. What is this little... Oh, it's it's the thing from the starting island. Okay. Little glowy thing. Um, yeah. So let's get into it. And first things first, we have some unfinished business here. We need to finish this quest just for my sanity. Also, because it's relevant to something we're doing in the future. But let's... Um, yeah so the reason why i was doing that is a we've been waiting forever to do it also i've realized a lot of things that we're currently producing very slowly over here can be accelerated if we just set up a bunch of cloches like probably down over here we'll set up all the cloches i'm gonna do this off camera i'll set up some cloches for any seeds we have of alloy like the different alloys and stuff we have seeds for and i'll probably that probably won't happen right now, but sometime soon. Another thing I want to set up is I want to set up a fluid network, which we'll do next time. Most likely we'll work on that. And uh, that fluid network is so that we can get, I have fluid cows for all the different. So to do, to do any kind of mystical agriculture and things like that, we need to use a fluid transposer on draconium to make a bunch of different tiers of team steel all these different degree steels the first i think three it's like the first three are done with that with different things we need pyrothium cryothium and i think it's tectonic petrothium maybe zephyrin erothium maybe four all of them oh. have weird names um and i have the cows for it i just need to set up storage for their oh. fluids so that i don't have to constantly craft and then use a magma crystal to melt it down. Rather, I just want to supply it <sighs> directly to this fluid transposer so we can automate that process. And we will work on that probably next time. I just want to give you guys some updates. Today, our first focus is on getting better power supply to everything. And in hopes of doing that, we're going to make the next tier of cable which i think we have everything for Let's see here yep we have all that get a good chunk of it and what's the other um conduit binders okay so i'm gonna go through and got all our cables out replace them all with the new power cable and then we'll go from there. So I'll see you guys in a little bit once I have these all changed out. So yep, be right back. All right, guys, we're back. So I did a little bit of work. Oh, gonna show you guys. I got the cables updated to the next tier, so then I can transfer a 10,000 RF tick. I also added some big dense energy cells onto our energy <laughs> for our ME network so that we never have power issues because I've had a couple instances where just like crafting has pulled, drawn a lot of power at once for like a second or so, and then that's caused problems. We're making up some more 64Ks so I can make another layer on these two crafting unit things. Uh, but yeah, that's just gonna kind of run on the side for now. I was doing a little bit of looking back through and we do need to collect some quests. And then I was trying to figure out what we really wanted to, what we really needed to get into next. And there's gonna be a lot of RAK here. Um, there's Rogue, that's the other one. This one's gonna have a bunch of RAK. I don't have space in my inventory for that, or just would not let me. Mm. 
Let's grab these. It doesn't matter. We're making so many of them already. Okay. So next time I want to get into some fluid storage and we'll get back to kind of doing the stuff we were doing before. But this time I kind of had a little bit different of a plan. We've been doing a lot of... Let's grab these too. Um, doing a lot of kind of boring... Or not boring, but crafting based stuff over the last couple episodes and I figured it'd be kind of fun to go do something more adventure -y. and there's a specific adventure which I don't know if we're equipped for but we're gonna try it to get this tarantula boss trophy because we need it for our next level of the sword not that we really need the next level of the sword at the moment but it just would be nice so I'm going to get some stuff together also another thing I noticed when we were Looking around, I have a tier 4 Vibrant Jetpack for some reason in my uh, network. I think I got it from a quest reward. I know it completed a quest when I got it. Because I remember getting it. I just don't remember if it was a quest reward or some kind of loot bag drop that I didn't notice. I don't remember the reason. I just remember getting it. So, we have it. And if I armor it up, as I plan to do dark steel armor on it so we need we're gonna need dark steel I'm gonna craft up all 10 that we need dark and we need conductive I know where we have that and then we need to make the basic oops the most basic tier we need some silicon On the go. That'll be done in like two seconds. Okay. Silicon armor. And then let's make that into the next tier up armor, which requires us to put it in there. And we just need our dark steel. Which isn't going to craft up quickly. Is there a tier in between? Yeah, electrical steel. Do we have any of that on hand? No. Maybe that one will be on the other one of these. No, both of those are on this one that's doing the alloys for our thing. Well, in any case, we can just charge up this jetpack and use it for that its purpose. And the other thing, well, I'm gonna let this charge. I'm gonna leave that to charge for a while and we're gonna work on something else for the moment because there's one other thing that I wanna get done this episode, hopefully, is something we've been neglecting for a while. That is these armor quests, which, Uh, they're they're an interesting creature in and of themselves. So our next one is boron, which I think is why we stopped because I couldn't get boron at the time when we were working on it. Let's see if we have any boron in the system. We have a bunch of boron dust. I just need to smelt it up. I can just throw that in and smelt it up, and then take the boron once it filters back into the system. Still can't see time. We'll stack out and we'll just quickly craft that up. I think it's if I remember correctly, this is pretty straightforward. Yeah, there's that. Run that way. Boron. That's our next osmium. We definitely have osmium that can just be used as Let's craft up a hundred of that. It won't take long. Okay. Should be plenty enough osmium. 
It's kind of nice that I left these quests for now because now they are quite easy <laughs> compared to what they would have been before. Although they weren't all that awful before. At least the ones that we did at the time. The quest. What's the next one? Redstone. Is this... Oh. Well, that one is expensive. Down. Okay, so we're going to have to teach our system how to make blocks of redstone. And then let's see how absurd this is going to be. Hopefully it won't be as bad as I think it's going to be. Oh, we should probably put that down in the regular crafting stuff. So how many do we need? We need four, eight, nine, nine for those two. And then seven plus eight, which is 15 plus nine. Math of Ethan apparently is the name of this episode. <laughs> uh, 15 plus nine, which is going to be 24. If I did that math right. This is not gonna be a quick craft. We just got to make up all that osmium and then make red alloy out of it. How are these power do doing power-wise now? Actually, much better. Yeah, that power upgrade was much needed. We were starting to hit a point where uh, certain machines were running out of power, just trying to run as they were. Well, since it's going to be a little while before this is done, I don't want you guys to just sit here and watch this happen. I'll bring you guys back when we have all the redstone we need. Red blocks of redstone we need. So, yeah. Be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Ooh, got a zombie villager trophy. Cool. Uh, there was a brand zombie villager that I took care of. Uh, we should have everything together, I think, for the rest of the little bit of crafting that I wanted to do. I also finally can make this armor for our jetpack. It's still charging it up. Yeah, this thing holds way more RF than this can supply. Uh, we'll have to fix that, but we'll do it later. Uh, okay, let's go over here. Uh, now this thing will just quickly take this over and make it dark steel. And then once we're done charging that up, I'll, that'll probably next episode we'll have that all done. So let's work on our armor, which is what we were doing before. And our next quest is redstone armor, which was the one that was a pain in my ass. But I think I have enough redstone blocks to make it now. This should be enough. The redstone armor. What's next? Inori. Just go to the crystals. Pull out those, 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 those. I never need all of them. So, Inori. Inori. Crystal armor. Okay. Palace. Palace armor. The funny thing is we're making this armor. We're not even going to use it. <laughs> because if we use it, then it takes durability damage and we got to start from... Level one again. Okay. 
Redstonia. Standard armor. Looks like this palace is not what we needed. There's the Redstonia. Oh, did I not get credit for the pants? There we go. And then it's obsidian. This is just plain obsidian, right? Obsidian. Cool stack up. There we go. Pants. The hat. And the boots. And we're done. And for some reason, when I shift click it out like that, I have to put it here before it counts it as done. Um, next one is diamond, emerald, platinum, diamond. Um, let's put some stuff away that we're not using at the moment. Diamonds, we need to stack those, and we need platinum. Oh, I have platinum being made up over here, I forgot. I finally got rid of those, I think it was like the second or third episode, I made a bunch of platinum, liquid platinum in the smeltery, and then I couldn't use it, so I stored it. Finally got rid of that. Kind of nice. Okay. This is used to make diamond armor. And then it's emerald armor. Emerald stack of those, put those away. Horses. It's emerald armor, and then we have platinum armor. Now we need diamantine and meratic, which we have the stuff for, and that will finish off this tier of them. Not the most entertaining episode, I guess, but much needed. Go, diamond team, or uh, emeratic, I think. And the next tier is cobalt. How much cobalt do we have? Could we do that? We're gonna have to make two hundred. Might as well. How fast is it gonna make up? We're gonna need quite a bit of it to do this armor, I think. And that should probably bring us to the end of the episode, getting rid of cobalt. I know we can go to Ardite is next, and the Night Slime, and that stuff becomes a pain. I don't think we have enough Ardite to make the Ardite armor, though. Ardite. Actually, we do. Make it 200 Ardite as well. Nearly at 200. Come on, you're almost there. You can do it. 
surprised this went so well. All right, let's grab two stacks. I don't think that we need that much, but no, we better safe than sorry in this case. Go cobalt armor. We just need bardite armor. Grab three stacks. I can put these emeratic crystals away as well. Okay, now this is for this. that apple out of here we'll take off our armor and put it on this thing that's pretty cool actually 11 armor pretty good stuff so yeah we're out of time for this episode next time we will get into uh, probably fighting the broodmother he's all have be able to charge up our jetpack by them and then we will get a nice new sword so yeah and also off camera, I'm going to do a little bit of work with the cloches and stuff to get some automation going. So until next time, I hope you all enjoyed. And uh, yeah, you're all free to go. If you really want. Or do you? All right, guys.